So, Blighty, we'll go back to back to your coaching. It must have been really satisfying after three losing uh, grand finals to finally taste success with Adelaide in '97. Yeah, it was. It was um, sort of come came very quickly. It came late. We only won 13 games for the year, and um, we won four finals. And you know, the football world for 120 years had said no one ever win a flag by winning four finals. So that was uh, very pleasing. And, yeah, that was it. Was just such a great September. I mean, we, you can't say anything else other than you know f- to win four finals is that. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was pretty euphoric. South Australia was pretty proud. I can assure you. Went back to back in '97. How difficult was that to sort of to restart again? We're seeing with Hawthorne now. They yeah, go for three. Yeah. How difficult is to just regrow the motivation and the hunger to go again? Yeah. Look, I, I think there are a couple of important things happen. It's pretty good. <laughs> I can hear that noise. It's good, isn't it? It's, this is, uh, it's different. Like it's, yeah, it's very it's, different. Yeah, Have you ever done yeah. an interview in a car? Uh, in a car, but not in the car wash. Yeah, okay. The um, yeah, no, a couple of some really important players at the football club, Mark Shudo and uh, Peter Vardy, both were injured in that first one, and they during the final series, you, the boys were talking about let's try and do it for them. So. You know, and we had a, a, a three great wins also in that one. So it was, um, yeah, it was hard. I didn't actually mention the first one. I purposely, um, not for the whole year, mentioned what happened the year before. Never once. No, no, I, no, I didn't. I, and I, I, I promised myself I'd only ever talk about the now. Um, and I, I think for, as a club we did that pretty well. You famously left Tony Modger out of the yeah. out of the ninety eight. Is- is that the part of coaching that's the toughest? Do you? Yeah, How is. hard is that? Yeah, I know, mate. Uh, as we now move, look at this. No hands, no driving, no nothing. We're neutral. Neutral. Um, yeah, no. It was. It's, oh, it's the hardest part to tell a young players its dreams not on. You know whether they'd be young players that you know are delisted or whatever, and telling blokes they're out of the team. It's it, yeah. It, it's the it's the job that. If you could get rid of, you would, but you can't, because that's what you're there for. You've got to make decisions. I mean, you know, sometimes coaches are overrated or underrated, but one of the jobs they're not underrated in is actually doing pulling the trigger on people. Uh, you left Adelaide at the end of '99 after just three years and after so much success. What? Why did you leave? I, uh, I was, I've been going for a long time. I was, I was just a bit tired. I think I, I was. I, you know, I really, I could feel the ping go out of my body, and um, a bit like when I left Geelong. You know, I left. You know, after a grand final loss, uh, I just felt that I'd probably done all I could. And Adelaide, I probably felt that the same. I just, I just couldn't see where I could go and help this group anymore. And so, you know, I, I just, I can't pretend. I just had to say, look, I've had enough. And um, yeah, so that's what I did. Then went back to St Kilda. Yeah, you went to St Kilda in 2001. Yeah. How how do you compare the two major football states? Like how there's there's so little football in in, in the South Australia with these two teams. To, uh, yeah, they're pretty passionate about it in South Australia, and obviously, uh, coaching St Kilda didn't work out for all sorts of reasons. It, 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 it's just even too boring to talk about these days. But uh, I, you know, Melbourne was, you know, people live and breathe it, but, but a lot of Adelaide people do too. You know, there's, you know, there's a, you know, quarter of the population, but they love their footy in Adelaide. But, but there's just more of them in Melbourne. It's just everywhere. You then sort of really got into the, into the media. Yeah. Um, how much did you enjoy that side of the game? Yeah, look, I did. I, one of the, I, I, did, I did it for a number of years too, and it was true. I mean, you're meeting, you know, lots of people, that, former players, and you know, the commentators like Bruce McAvaney and you know, the, Stephen Quartermain and Dennis Committee and, and, and Sandy. Wright. I mean, there's millions of them, and they're, and they're just so good at what they do. I really admire them, and I love the way they commentate, and and I love having a little celebratory drink with all the other special comments people, all the former players, so I really enjoyed the lifestyle of it. The only thing is, of course, you go to the game, you enjoy some games, some aren't great, then you go home and don't have to worry about it, that's the best part of it. It's quite a bizarre moment, your first night hosting a game in 96, the lights went out at Waverley, can you tell us a little bit about that night? Yeah, what about that? The boys were going to do some Olympic stuff, 96 Olympics, so I started doing some commentary and hosting it at, at the footy ground. Uh, yeah, as it turned out, it was my first ever hosting session. And, you know, welcome to Waverley here, Essendon playing St Kilda, da 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 This wonderful evening, and you know, halfway through the third quarter, the lights go out. I mean, trauma, traumatic. Um, you know, people went berserk, and it was quite scary at People times. pulling the posts Pushed down, down the ground. Yeah, lighting fires, and, <coughs> excuse me, anyhow, uh, as a, a car, it actually hit a, a, a stobie pole, or pole, 
so put the lights out. So they replayed it on the Tuesday. The irony of that is that the score didn't change that much. And they called in the big gun. Bruce McEvaney came in and replaced me as host. There's an so, ama- yeah, amazing so vision of you holding a, a cigarette, cigarette lighter, lighter yeah. live on, on TV. Yeah, it? yeah, it went viral. In, in, even in those days, uh, I guess the internet was just starting. And, uh, you know, the, me, there was no lights. So I, I had a, I, somebody rather had a cigarette lighter in my hand. How do I know that? <laughs> Where did I get that from? Who knows? Anyhow, um, yeah, so that went, went worldwide. It was quite famous.